Hello fellow haunters, welcome to Grunge Haunts and Props. My name is Chris Leonardo and today we are going to be making Skull Lantern. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know we make a ton of skulls here. Uh, we've got a silicone mold, glove mold um, that we crank out Loctite foam skulls all the time. Very inexpensive, about a dollar a piece. Um, and right uh, for this video, we're going to carve out one of these skulls and then just put those dollar store tea candle lights uh, inside the skull and put some rope and stuff on the outside so that you can hang it um, and turn it into a lantern. So um, follow along and enjoy the video. Okay, to make the uh, skull lantern, um, I'm just gonna do a whole set of my normal routine of doing my skulls. Get my half skulls here and I'll do a full skull here for the skull lantern and uh, show you how we do that. We also have a full video on how to cast Loctite so you can watch that as well. And that's it, we're gonna go ahead and just wrap these up. And uh, for the full skull, we're gonna wait a whole day or overnight, and then we'll, we'll demold it in the morning. All right, we've let this sit overnight, and now we're going to demold the casting here of the skull. Quite a bit of excess here. Um, I guess we just put a little too much in the, in the mold. I don't like that just because you know we're just wasting a lot of material. <clears throat> okay, that's you know really high quality casting there. Um, so this will be perfect. Now we just gotta cut all this excess foam off and uh, start working on the skull. Okay, we're gonna cut this open, or cut this excess foam off and then start carving out the pump, or the, uh, the skull here. And uh, so this is going to put out a lot of particles. So I wanna wear a, a respirator and uh, some eye protection. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get most of it into this garbage bag. We'll see how it goes. So we're trying to clear it out as much as possible because we're going to drill holes here, here, and in the nose. Uh, I don't want it too thin. And that's pretty thin right there. Okay, are pretty close. Okay. We are going to do the eyes and see how that looks. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out with the eyes. Um, now we've got to work on the nose. I'm not sure... What am I going to do with that? I think I'm going to have to use a different uh, Dremel bit. So I'm going to go change that out and I'll be back. Okay, we swapped out to a smaller little bit here for my Dremel. And we're going to do the nose area. I think that's gonna uh, that's gonna work. So we're gonna use that, and then uh, now we're gonna just uh, make sure these are gonna work with the the tea light candles and uh, put it on the lower jaw. So I kind of want to put this in here somehow. That's going to be easy to get out. These are pretty actually pretty good. In there. Hmm. 
think that works pretty well, actually. <laughs> Without really doing much of anything, I might put just tack them in with just a little bit of hot glue so that I can pull them out pretty easily. Um, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's gonna work. So now we just gotta paint, start painting this bad boy and get the lower jaw in here as well. Before we paint it, uh, I'll try to get an idea of what we're gonna do here. Um, planning to use this rope, dollar store rope. It's like a 10 foot rope here. Um, and just kind of tie it around it and use that to, to hang this, you know, as like a hanging lamp here. So let's kind of mess with this and see what we can do. I'm gonna put the lower jaw in there and see what it looks like. Okay, with the uh, jaw here, I'm just gonna trim it down a little bit and glue it on. Okay, hopefully we can still get the key line or the tea candles in there. Uh, looks like it. Okay, good. All right, so that's kind of where I want the jaw to be. I'm gonna dry a little bit. And then uh, see what we can do here with this rope. I think we're just gonna have to paint it and then just figure out what we're gonna do afterwards. All right, uh, to paint this, we're going to using some black, um, a little bit of our camo dark brown, and then the khaki camo paint as well. So black in all the shadows and then we'll just do the dark brown for shadows as well and then camo will kind of dust it or the khaki. Yeah, I think we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a black wash on this. And uh, see what it looks like. All right, for the black wash, we're gonna use our standard black wash that we always use. It's a six ounce acrylic paint with, uh, uh, just from the dollar store and of course black. Uh, and then fill it the rest of the way with water and a couple drops of dish soap, and that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and just use it in this bin here and dump it right on top of this. I think that looks pretty good. Do a little touch up here. So I am just gonna go ahead and let that dry and uh, then we will start putting that rope on there. So we're gonna take the rope here and just gonna kind of pre-paint it with some green and brown on it just to dirty it up a bit. Directly or right in half. This underneath the jaw here.
kind of, kind of like that. It's just kind of random. Just start gluing some of this in here so it stays in place. We need a glue stick. Okay. That be it. Now we're just gonna put the let this dry and put the lights in. All right. There it is with the uh, tea light candles in there. Two of them in there. Um, I have to show this at night. And here is the final product. A creepy skull lantern. Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like this video. If you are a haunter or a Halloween enthusiast, consider subscribing to our channel to get updates and notifications anytime we put out new content. Uh, thank you for watching, and as always, happy haunting!